Traditionally, vehicle lights only spawn when a command is executed, such as when the engine turns on or when sirens turn on. But in some cases, you may want lights to always be on. This could, for example, be useful if you have a construction game mode where the player never turns off the vehicle's engine. It can also be useful if you don't want to use the Set Vehicle Sirens function, or if you plan on publishing the mod for other platforms such as single player. In this video, I'll show how to set up amber lights for the utility van by using Goldfish's scripts along with the Heroes plugin. If you are on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to Max Legacy and restart 3DS Max. Start by importing utility.ff using the Heroes plugin. Set to explicit normals, as that way we keep the original shading of the model. Create three lights in the rear utility bar and three in the front grill. Set 2DFX color to orange. Corona size to 0 0.4. Light range to 0. Show mode to 4x. Shadow size 4. Shadow multiplier 35. Shadow name to Corona reflect. Flags 1 to day and night. And flags 2 to blinking 2. There is a bug with the 2DFX script where it may not apply the settings to your lights, but I have only experienced this happening with light copies. It seems it's mostly just the light color itself that isn't applied in some cases. To fix this, click Get, and then manually change the color, and it should let you apply your settings to the light. Set to Lights to apply the configuration. Link the lights to the chassis component and export to DFF with the Heroes plugin. The 2DFX wasn't exported, only the light elements. To export the 2DFX, create a box in the scene and link the lights to the box. Convert to editable poly or mesh. Export to DFF with Goldfish's scripts. Open the original utility DFF with RW Analyze and extract the collision data. Open the box DFF and extract the two DFX data. Open the custom utility DF and embed the collision and 2DFX data.